It's Thursday, November 15th, 2012. I'm Neelai Patel. Step into my office, baby. It's 90 seconds on the verge. Google's Nexus 4 launch this week was marked by a number of technical glitches, and the trouble ain't over yet. The new flagship Android phone is expected to ship today for just $300 off contract. Some people, however, are now being informed by Google that their orders could be delayed by up to three weeks. The Nexus 4 is still sold out on the Google Play Store. You can always get it from T-Mobile, but that's gonna cost you either a two-year contract or a $150 premium. The popular free-to-play iOS game Punch Quest is no longer free-to-play. Developer Rocket Cat Games garnered an impressive 600,000 downloads in its first week, but reportedly failed to make much money from in-app purchases. So now Punch Quest costs 99 cents. Punch Quest is one of the first high-profile titles to go from free to premium. Angry Birds, on the other hand, will continue to be a veritable money machine. A shipment of iPad minis worth over $1.5 million has been stolen. According to the New York Post, a well-coordinated heist left to the theft of about 3,600 Apple tablets from New York's JFK International Airport. The culprits are still at large. Investigators suspect an inside job, which, given the size of the heist and my love of the movie Goodfellas, makes a lot of sense. Finally, Spotify has begun to roll out a browser-based music app. It's been one of Spotify's most requested features, and it's the most obvious difference between it and chief competitor RDO. Spotify's web player is now live in some regions. Users will receive a Facebook invite when it's ready for them. That's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, a chance for overtime. Say, my place at nine.